We are back to Star Wars Republic at War. Do not forget to check last episode because last time we fought a battle over Bespin and we lost it because we only had a space station level 5 against what seems to be a huge CIS fleet with 10 Lurk Hulks at the time. We got 2, a Providence class and 5 Recusant Destroyers. So last time I said that we were going to finish the invasion of Typhera because we didn't quite manage to take down the two remaining or the four remaining homing spider droids at that planet everything is gone right there the structures the garrison everything there's only four homing spider droids and we need to muster a force to attack that planet and finish the invasion so let me find something here that we got maybe already some forces that we recruited and we've got Vader back and someone told me I'm not sure if that's true that he's got the huge huge Imperial Star Destroyer, the Executor. I'm not so sure about that. I'm gonna have to try that, like a uh, over Fonder maybe. So let's uh, start by moving Vader uh, to Karida. I think it's the closest one that we can get without having to pause the game. There we go. So he's gonna be moving and we gotta find our invasion forces to Tythera and later on Fondor. We got so much money, I think we should be building more of the invasion forces. The X-130s, uh, Anaxis has got some uh, cool arc, uh, arc program going on. Kurulog, you can't build a lot of stuff. Maybe Aethan, no. Uh, Frisia, not at all. Karida, Karida is pretty interesting. Let me get some of the LADs, five of those. Alderaan, more saber tanks. How many do we have in here? Oh, five. Yeah, I want that. I think those are enough to take down two units of uh, homing spider droids. Why not? Let me try. Alright, they're going to take some time to get there. While they're moving, let's get some more forces. Coruscant is already full speed. Mech is... Oh, you're not building a single force. Why not? Let me get... What? What could we get here? How about some ATAP walkers? And Frisia could be getting me some ATRTs. Because why not? They are pretty good against the enemy artillery units. Oh, we got there already. That was pretty, pretty fast. And Vader, you got there fast too. So let me move you straight to Typhera and let's invade. We gotta finish this planet. This is ours. There's got to be some bonus on there. Infantry auto heals during any ground tactical battle on this planet. So we don't have any infantry, so it doesn't really matter. And I thought we had five units of saber tanks, but I just saw four. I don't know if I'm going blind or crazy, but... What the crap? What the hell is this? Why do we have LAATs? Alright, I don't get it. That was kind of weird. I didn't have these guys in the battle at all. At least I don't remember having them. Can you guys take a look at the enemy base to see if they've got any uh, structures left? No, they haven't. Pretty go. All right, take down the homing spider. First one to go down. Let's focus on the second. You guys keep shooting. I don't know where you came from, so you're probably expendable. You actually do a lot of damage on these spiders. I know they're pretty tough units. I like that. Take down the other one. And let me bring some more saber tanks to the battle. Another one down. One to go and we are about to conquer another planet for the Empire. Oh, they're gonna have a retreat on the way. It doesn't really matter. We won. And we're gonna get 1300 credits for conquering this planet. Let me see if that's really true. Yeah, that's actually true. We got the money. Planetary control achieved over Typhera and we got a LAT unit out of nowhere. Really, I don't remember having those guys there. That was uh, scary. I don't know what's happening. Where's Vader? 
We're going to attack Fonda right now. Let me move a... Can we raid this? Well, let's take a look at Fonda. Maybe we can find some buildings that we could take down with an arc trooper. Oh my gosh, that's a 12 saber tank, 12 uh, homing spider units, which means 24 droid spiders. That's a lot. And we we would need a lot of saber tanks to take them down. I think those are the best units to take the spiders down. So maybe we should start building them okay so the map is kinda mm. I actually like the map there's a bunch of uh, reinforcement points one here one here and one there so we could run maybe get some ATRTs and run straight to the reinforcement points so we can get some more forces how many can we get in the beginning uh, one out of five so the unit capacity is five uh, most likely we're gonna get five here no that's two no that's just a number of the reinforcement point no no wait a second so it's five this one is gonna give us two so seven plus three ten plus two twelve so we're gonna have twelve uh, unit capacity points you use so let's get out of here I think 12 points is quite enough to you know muster some pretty heavy forces all right let's move our fleet then the pride of the core yes 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 Ready for battle, sir. who doesn't love the pride all right let's go guys it's gonna be a big battle they haven't got a, a lot of fleet forces but they have a space station level 5 which always is uh, quite a sight to see allows the production of capital ships due to founders orbital production uh, construction facilities so that's quite important for us to take and guess what I think Vader won't be a huge star destroyer He's just a uh, yeah. He's just a Tie Fighter Squadron. I, I was I was expecting that. You guys told me that there would be a huge Star Destroyer, but no, there isn't. But as I said, I was kind of expecting that. Why would they give you another huge ship? Although I just became the Empire, so. Well, whatever. Can we call in more forces? Yes, we can. How about calling in one of you? And the victory one is going to have to come back in the next battle. Okay, guys, just make sure they don't run away or they don't kill any of our, of our ships. Begin battle attack pattern beta. Whatever the hell that means. All right, we're taking some casualties. Try to take down the enemy laser defense satellites because those are pretty good against our fighters. There we go, one down, one to go. Vader, where are you? You're in the middle of that fight. What's this? Call for wingmen. We'll replenish, replenish any lost wingmen in the squadron that Vader is leading. All right, uh, I want to use that. Those are actually fighters that broke off from the main group and are, you know, helping Vader. Alright, take down the shield, uh, the engine. Now the hanger on that, and the hanger on that, and the hanger on that. It's kind of a song. Bombers! Hello! Uh, try to take down the turbo laser battery on the space station. Why not? Whoa! Look at the amount of torpedoes! That's a lot. Let me take down the other hanger. And did you guys forget about the shield? Yes, you did. Not anymore. The shield is down. Arc fighters, you're really good, and I love you. Let's focus on that recusant destroyer that is uh, probably taking some of our fighters down. Take the shield on that. 
shield destroyed now get the engine so they won't run away that's exactly what I'm talking about now if you can I have a mission for you try to reach the shield on the space station I know that's gonna be risky you guys are probably all gonna die but you gotta try it oh forget it forget about it we got a bulwark right in front of us let us damage it there we go a lot of damage take down the hangar hangar down engine is not down that should be our next target where's Vader did Vader freaking die I wasn't paying attention god dang it okay that was annoying I wasn't paying attention I'm so sorry guys I lost track of Vader and now he's dead or you know just wounded Probably uh, his TIE fighter just got hit and he went back to the variety of the core and now is commanding from the bridge right there. Hello Vader. Wow, we got three engines, that's amazing. Three engines, two hangars. What else? The tractor beam. Two shield generators? You gotta be kidding me, really? That's crazy. Okay, we lost all our fighters, all our bombers, but we're coming in again with uh, another wave. But this time, I think I'm going to send in some of my Victory 1 class Star Destroyers. They're going to approach the enemy base alongside some Venators. And the Imperial Star Destroyers, I'm going to send you all the way to the right side of the map. Yeah, this guy is doing it right. That's the right side, man. Can you go that way, please? Uh, the part of the core should be moving as well. There we go. We are approaching the enemy forces. Try to take down the enemy patrol craft that is uh, destroying some of our fighters. I do not enjoy that. Not for a second. Arc fighters come in. Uh, try to destroy the shield generator on that recusant destroyer. Yes, you did already. That's an overkill. A little bit too much. Maybe try to take down the engine. There we go. Engine about to be destroyed. Now focus on the Munificent class. Uh, shield uh, gone. Now focus on the engine. Those are your major targets. Engines, shields and hangars. Okay, okay. Yes, satellite destroyed. Or about to be gone. Okay, focus on the space station. We gotta take the shield down. We are gonna get some casualties, but no problem. Oh man, we lost so many fighters already. Well, the entire fleet is back up. All of you sneak in and attack the enemy. Did we get the shield? Yes, we did. Shield down on the space station. What are you guys doing? Yes! Victory 1 class Star Destroyer shooting. Boost weapon power. Take down the Munificent class. And look at the wave! Look at those waves! Yes, yes, yes! I do like that. Start hunting for enemy, enemy fighters. Or en enemy whatever. Okay, these Star Destroyers are doing some kind of weird thing. Venators approach the enemy space station. We still have a Providence class alive. And guess what? We need to take them down. Okay, Rikus and Destroyer coming under heavy fire from our Venators and guess what the shield is gone you're not gonna run away that easy uh, Munificent class on that side about to go down as well we're taking hits somewhere the shield is going down on one of you oh there we go uh, that's probably because you're going through that uh, pile of debris meaning we took some you know some damage nothing major fire all batteries make sure you take down the satellite first 
Maybe not. Can you shoot the satellite? Alright, everyone. Just focus all your fire on the enemy space station. Uh, forget about you. You're gonna be shooting the enemy ships. Okay, that's some heavy damage on you. The shield is about to go down on you, you, and you. I can't say I do like that, but you know. It's nothing really horrible. What the hell is that? Orbital construction pod. Huh. Cool. I don't want to lose Vanitor, so... Get out of there. Ooh, the Proud of the Core is already in range of uh, the space station, so we got probably all our guns shooting. The quad, the turbo laser batteries. I, wow, they are amazing. I love these guns. All the vanitors, fire all batteries. Wow, whoa, whoa, wait a second. I don't want to lose you. I'm going to lose you. There's no point in even getting you out of there. How did you take so much damage? Oh, of course, the space station level 5. That's why. Guys, uh, the hangars are still alive. Take them down. Whoa, what's that? Why is that thing burning? Oh! Oh, you can't do it. Oh, you don't have the blast. Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer standing by. I need you in the fight. Come on. Come on, guys. Everyone. Focus on the space station. There we go. Uh, all the systems are down on this side. The one that we are not actually shooting is still up. But with the amount of fighters that we have, the amount of bombers, and the amount of arc fighters, any second now that you know, space station must be destroyed. Fire all batteries. Uh, are you tractor beaming the space station? Oh no, there's a... <laughs> I was kind of worried about that because this thing is too much OP. That's too OP, look at that. The pride of the core. Who doesn't love the pride? The enemy has been defeated. We have taken down the space station over Fondor. Now we just need to invade the planet. Yep, Vader was... Uh, one of the casualties in this battle, but no problem. Alright. Now we can take down 12 homing spider droids. I've got no idea of how I'm gonna do that. But before we invade, let's clear the space over our brigade array. Seven minutes in classes. While this planet is control all ATRTs and crab droids cost 20% less to build on all planets, that's pretty good. We're gonna cripple their crab droid production. Although I, ha I haven't seen many of those in the battles. Alright, everyone, just go as fast as you can. Come on, guys, as fast as you can. I know they're gonna run away. We gotta take down at least one or two ships. I do love the design of the Munifsen frigate. It looks pretty cool. Okay, get the engines, because if they run away, at least the engines are gone. So they want to run away. <laughs> That's basically how it works. Oh man, the Star Destroyer is so cool. Cool. And look at this fleet. Oh, they've got a hyperspace jump. Take the engines down! How many got away? Four? I think it's four. Yeah, four. Okay. So, where are they going? Back to Fonder, I believe. Rhodia is under attack. We are gonna defend Rhodia because otherwise I think we won't have any land battles in this episode. And I'm trying to give you both battles you know you like the land battles you like the space battles so I wanna please you guys I wanna see you happy 
watching this and liking it. We've got company, General. We've got company, General. Uh, give me those uh, build pads as fast as possible. And you're gonna start approaching the enemy base. Bikes, I forgot about the bikes all the time. You guys go hold that position. You chew. Uh, eight the RTs. I'm gonna move you with the big walker. You're the small walker. You're the big walker. ATTE. Drop those mines. There we go. That's gonna be uh, uh, pretty good. I think we're gonna deliver some casualties. Yes. They've got an MTT. Uh, troop transport. Those are pretty tough to take down. They got a lot of health. I think even more than the uh, spider droids. Can I upgrade something in this planet? I don't think I can. Yep, not anymore. I fought here too many times. I don't understand what they're saying at all. Hold your ground. Got B choose approaching from every place. You guys can go back. Don't don't go after them. There we go. We got a Republic Elite Guard, which means there is a commander. A feud commander. We don't have the bombing run, which is sad because I did want one. Alright, MTT. Oh, they've got artillery units, that's bad. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's uh it can take a lot of damage. MTTs are basically damage taking, you know, machines. Alright, hold your ground. Capture the enemy reinforcement point. We're gonna finish this invasion already. I don't wanna delay. Oh, okay, that's bad. They've already dropped some of the homing spiders. Can we capture the point before we get uh, slaughtered? No, we can't. Okay, okay, no problem. Speed up the game. Oh, they've got a Confederacy Read 3 down the way. They only lost four B2 battle droid units, which I'm quite happy about, you know, taking down. They didn't bring in the air wings, the gunships. So, yeah, I think we're good. Now, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, going back to Fondor. Oh, they didn't move there. They probably went back to Forost. Okay. Now, I gotta send some forces powerful enough to invade this planet. And I think Mech is 3. I mean, 5 Venators on the orbit and a space station level 5. And guess what? A tur oh, come on, there's a freaking turbo laser right there. There's no point in keeping these forces here. So let's get out. We got a. That's a pretty big uh, invasion force. 5. ATTs, five LATs, five clone troopers, and one of the ATAP Walker units that we're gonna bring more. I'm gonna bring four or five. Have you guys got any more? Uh, so Macus or Frisia? No, we're already building those guys. How about Quet? Quet, Quet, Quet. Four of you, and a. Uh, one of you. How about Rendili? Yeah, let me get a clone trooper squad. And we got a battle over Corellia. And that is quite interesting because there's no uh, direct path to Corellia 
from the enemy planets. Could you please explain to me what the crap is going on? That's uh, eight local Hulk battleships. I don't think we've got any chance, even with a space station level five. But um, we're going to move our big fleet, this one, straight to the enemy forces over Karelia. There we go. We're going to have another space battle and probably finish this episode without a lot of the development into the, in the actually, actual galaxy map. But we only, you know, we got a planet. Now we got to get Thunder. I forgot to build stuff in here. Space station, of course. And there we go. Battle over Karelia. Humans, Salonians, and Drawl. Forests, jungles, hills, fields, and seas. That's a lot of terrain. Terrains. Terrains. Oh, do you really think I only have a Vanitor? How cute of you. Hello. Got more stuff. Yes, yes, yes. One battle at a time. With a freaking huge amount of Vanitors. And what are these civilian freighters doing? Crap. They're gonna be moving around my forces and I'm gonna shoot them down and I'm gonna have to pay. But you guess what? I don't give a shit because I am the Empire. And the Empire doesn't give a shit about, you know, the civilians. Well, a good thing is that they're not they're not taking damage. Oh, yes, they are. Who am I fooling? If you get destroyed, I'm going to be really pissed. Okay, we've got the Providence class approaching. Take the shield on that down. Holy crap, they're not moving out. I think the buzzwords are going to kill them. Okay, guess what? I am the Empire. Destroy those civilian freighters, they are disturbing the battle. I don't care if I pay a thousand credits, they're gonna get destroyed. Shield down, shield down, and now take the hangers down. Both, please. Holy crap, what's going on? Man, this is a awesome formation all right all victory class star destroyers fire all weapons or boost weapon power that's what i meant do we have any heavier damage on any ship no we don't all right everyone focus on the enemy looker hulks and this battle is is about to be it's about to crash i'm pretty sure because uh, it's going really slow and there's a lot of stuff going on if it does, I'm gonna be sad and mad and uh, annoyed, irritated. A lot of uh, you know, a lot of uh, ad adjectives for that situation. Hey, what the hell was that? I just saw some weird stuff going on. Okay, now that the hangers and shields are down, let's focus on the next Providence class and V-Wings make sure you escort my arc fighters and the bombers although we only have like a one or two units of bombers fire all batteries there's a recousin destroyer approaching my formation are, are you really sure you want to do that oh look at that you're gone Okay, engine. So what's the situation on this side? Did we take down the shield? No, we are not focusing fire on that. Please do, and let's speed up. I think uh, speeding up makes it not crash, or makes it crash even faster. <laughs> I don't really know. There we go. Engine. Engine down. Shield down. Hangar down. That's basically how it goes. I know it's laggy and it's not cool to see a laggy battle, but you know, my computer cannot handle that and I don't think uh, any can. I wouldn't say any, but most can't. 
It's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of fighters and not a lot of ships. A lot of lasers, a lot of uh, rockets, buzzroids. It's just a freaking mess. Did we get the shield, the hangar? Ah, uh, 40%. That's uh, quite enough. Now it's about to go down. At least that's how I suppose it will happen. Oh, that's that was kind of weird. Okay, we're taking some damage. Fire all batteries. You guys behind them. Boost weapon power. Look at that. They're, they're dealing some heavy damage. One of these systems on this Locker Hulk is already down. I think the bigger ships are approaching, so... It's time to send in the bombers or the arc fighters. They do work too. Let's try to take at least one of the locals down already so we can, you know, have the battle going a little bit faster. If possible, of course. I'm not so sure if that's even a thing. Speed up, gentlemen. Speed up. This Looker Hulk is uh, taking heavy, heavy damage. And with your torpedoes, it's going to get destroyed in uh, a couple of seconds. There we go. The health is gone. We're going to witness a Looker Hulk being blown up. There we go. Beautiful, as always. Are we good? Yes, we are good. Let's focus on this one. It's called the Ahutzolt. That name that I can't ever pronounce. Fire all batteries. I don't think you're close enough to beam the enemy ship, so say where you are. Alright, wait a second. Go a little bit closer. Let's beam them. Beaming would take a lot of health from them. A lot faster than, you know, just shooting. Guys, hunt! What are you doing? Don't just stand there. Get closer, god dang it. Yes, all steam ahead. Do I have arc fighters? Yes, I do. Focus on the enemy hangar. Can you beam him? Yes, you can! Beam it to hell. And if you can, do it too. Hold your ground, hold your ground. Your shield is going down. So what's the situation? Why are you moving? Fire all batteries. All the time. There we go, we got another beam on the enemy ship. Why are you moving? I told you twice to just freaking stop where you are. I know you're in the middle of a firefight, but no. Okay, that was kind of weird. It scared me. I thought the game had crashed. Beam it! Everyone! Wow, three beams. That's a lot. Now we're going to have the fourth beam. Fourth beam, fourth beam. I think there is no need for a fourth beam. And it's gone. Let's focus on the next one. I love the smell of Looker Hooks being exploded in the morning. It's actually uh, 8 p.m. So it's not the morning. Why are you going back? I don't understand the, the pathfinding in this game sometimes. And since you guys are doing such a great job, boost the weapon power, keep shooting your rockets. Make sure the enemy pay for what they're doing. Actually, we're attacking them. No, no. Yeah, they're gonna pay because they have attacked the space station over Corellia. That's ours. Alright. Are you guys scattered around the map? Yes, you are. That's bad. I'm gonna get you on this side and take down the enemy shield. And you on this side are going to take down the enemy shield as well. Enemy shield is the primary target. 
uh, most likely followed by the hangers if they're not you know outnumbered because if they're not outnumbered they are probably gonna um, retreat so you gotta take down the engines if you take down the engines when they try to retreat they're gonna lose the ships basically how it works Look at that! We're surrounding, surrounding, we're surrounding them. You can beam it, and it's already gone. You don't need to beam it anymore. You can beam that. You can beam that as well. And you, if you get any closer, just beam it. Visual contact. Yes, you do. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That guy's trying to run away. But I don't think it's gonna happen. You can move as well. Get into the battle. You took a lot of damage. Coruscant Sky. That's a beautiful name. I'm gonna bring you back. I don't wanna lose a ship. Come on, guys. You just need to find the last local look back on this side. And there's another one. And another one there. But no problem. We are approaching that time that we cannot lose. Actually, I think we are in that moment for some time already. Everyone, focus on the engines. They're going to run away. No crap. Okay. Two local hooks got away. Maybe some other, you know, smaller ships. Where are they going? I wish I knew because, you know, I want to, you know, go after them. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We've got three big space battles without any crashes, which is amazing. I like this a lot. I especially like when you comment as well so make sure you do and make sure you do leave a like if you did enjoy this and I think that's it next episode Kato Neimodia might be the next target or maybe the invasion of Thunder ciao ciao